Hey, bud. What are you thinking, bud? Huh? Me, yeah, me and Blue are out here by the cabin, and guess what, folks? We've got running water again. This year, the water has been turning off and on. I don't know if that's a good sign or bad sign, but we're glad that the water is here. Lou seems to like it an awful lot. He drinks it quite often. It is really, really cold water. Very refreshing, eh, Blue? Okay, here is my plum tree. I have to take a chainsaw and hack the top of this dude off. This tree is probably three times as big as it needs to be. For some reason, it wants to grow up, up, up. And the sky's the limit. Get it? The sky's the limit. So I got ropes on it. I got these uh, wood braces on it. I don't know. The root system on it doesn't seem to be very good. So I think I'm going to have to get some dirt, wheelbarrow some dirt over here and dump some dirt. And uh, get around that base a little better. So yeah, I got the popper over here. It's tied up. If you look at the draw bar there, see I got a rope on it. Got my post in the ground, but only went about two feet deep. I don't think that's strong enough to actually hold the tree. Probably just yanked that post right. Okay, there is the cabin. My tarp blowing up there in the wind. Let me get up here a little closer and show you my window. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. You should. But in the window is my ready light. The solar panel is stuck up there to that glass. So on these cloudy gray days, like today, it's still charging. Yeah, you don't have to have bright sunlight to make it charge. It'll charge even with the uh, gray cloudy days. Have you ever counted the stars on this flag? Well, let me tell you, this is not a current flag. You got to count the stars and if you notice there's rows of six and there are eight rows eight times six is what I'm gonna let you figure that out very old flag I've had it in my family for a lot of years now it resides in the cabin Well, guys, I'm working on building a fire. Got the old hickory here, as usual. And what I got here is some cedar boards, old ones, that are dry. That's one reason why I have all this uh, cedar wood in the cabin. Just to keep it dry. So again, my, my good friend old hickory here. Great knife, by the way. These uh, probably have been around, I think, 1886. I think it's when the company started. USA, and they're still making them today. I'm sure the quality is not as good as it was. But, um, probably still a good knife. I don't know. I haven't bought a brand new old hickory. So that I don't know. But there's my kindling pile. As per usual, starting to fire. Let's light her up.
Boy, sometimes that paper does not want does not want to work with you. Especially when you're filming. It's like when I turn the camera on, everything goes awry. Why is that? Anyway, there goes the snap crackle pop. So I'm just gonna load in some more of this little stuff in here. Here again, cedar. About the best wood you can get for fire starting. Bar none. So I don't know why you have to buy fat wood when you can have cedar. Here, let's break a knee. Oh, nope. Nothing about cedar. It does break easy. Good thing. All right, today, what are we doing for lunch? Well, I'm having chili. That's what I'm doing. I got Blue up here and he's going to drain me. You ever notice that uh, chili when it comes out of a can looks like dog food? Hmm. Gotta make sure what you don't. But I'm pretty sure it's chili because it looks like chili. But if it's dog food, it sure tastes good. What do you think, Blue? Smells good, don't it, Pop? He's thinking, yeah, let's let's eat. Well, I think we'll heat it up first, Blue. Okay. Well, I like to throw a little water in my can. I'll just give that a quick stir there to kind of get some of the goodness out of the bottom. Make sure we're not leaving nothing behind. There we go. And just like that, in we go. Give it a good stir. Get that all mixed up. Use Nelly's chili. It's not. Uh, I'm not, not being sponsored by them in any way. Not recommending their chili. Maybe you're allergic to it. It's a diseased chili to you guys. Me, I like it. Very thick. But when you're cooking on a fire, uh, you got to be careful. You just got to be careful. Let me take you to the stove. Reason you got to be careful is because it can stick. You don't want it to stick, right? You just zoom in on that puppy. Look at that. Oh, yum. Okay, so it's on the wood stove. I will stir occasionally as she cooks. Make sure she don't burn. And don't don't stick. What's the old saying? One uh, one burnt bean ruins the uh, the batch. Well, there it is. We're on slow roll. And something else I brought today is a little treat for me in blue. I like these Foley sausage. So I will cut that up and throw it in there. So I'll be right back. In goes the sausage. And stir. Okay, it's lunchtime. So me and Blue, we're gonna have some chili. It doesn't that look marvelous? Ay ay ay. Now could be a great time for some of my buddy Steve's bright bread. Miss you today, Steve. All right. Now I did add pepper, and I did add a little garlic. Let's see how we did. I 
I would say that makes one delicious lunch. Wish you could join me. Yep, and I gotta tell you, all I got here is water. And believe it or not, this is not water out of my spring over here. This is water from my house. My wife won't let me drink the water out of the spring raw. She thinks there could be something wrong with it. And she's probably right. I mean, I've, I've drank it several times over the years. It really does have a good flavor to it. Uh, Blue over here is getting him a drink out of my gold pan. It, too, is water from the house. Not out of the... My little spring, I'm afraid that I don't want to have some bacteria or some problem in the water and we're drinking it and we're sick and we can't figure out what's wrong with this. So, safe bet, if I do use it, I'd boil it before I drink it or cook with it. But uh, for now, hey, cheers. Water from the house. Oh, by the way, I gave Blue my paper plate after I got done eating and uh, I was busy kind of cleaning my pan and cleaning dishes and taking care of business here I turn around look and the plate's gone I'm like where'd the plate go there's remnants of a few pieces of the plate there's a paper plate very very thin and I think when I was eating my second dish off the the plate I noticed that the plate was getting pretty wet so I think things were soaking into the paper and of course, to him, hey, it tastes like chili. What a great tasting plate. So he ate it. So I'm hoping that when he goes, it comes out real clean. If you follow my drift. I do. I follow it. But yeah. Blue the paper plate eater. Goes on his resume. Alright, guys. Okay, today in my oven, voila, fried bread. Yeah, my stove's not very hot, so got a lid on her. Figured I can heat it up a little faster with a lid on so I can kind of bake it. I got another one laid out here, ready to go. So today, the cabin, fried bread. And blue, can't stand it. He's like, when do we eat? Right, bud? So thanks, Steve, for your uh, recipe on how to do fried bread, because today, Cabin Time, Oregon, the old moose crack here is going to fry some bread. I'll show you what it looks like when we're done, okay, guys? Okay, guys, I'm going to pop this and show you. I just flipped it. Looks like a big pancake, don't it? But it's bread like a giant biscuit. So, like I said, when I get to the other side done, I'll show you how we did. Hopefully you will want one of my cakes. And I forgot to show you. I pulled it out and started eating. Couldn't stop. Okay, that is my second bread out. Both sides. Let me break it in half. There you be, folks. That's bread. And that's bread ready to eat. Now, if you had butter, jam, jelly, anything to throw on top there would be great. I do not. So I'm eating it like it is. Plain. And it's good. Okay, guys, salute. Blue loves it too, by the way. He thinks this hot bread's awesome. My wife told me don't talk with my mouth full. It's actually not full. It's got food in it. Wow. Okay, guys. Thank you. Enjoy your bread, would you? Camp Time, Oregon. Bread. 
Well, here's something else that I found out. Me and Blue been kicking around out here in these woods for quite a while. And uh, this is a different section from where my trail's at where it goes up. But where I'm at, uh, between this tree and this big tree, right straight through here, there seems to be maybe an old road. And it goes up in there, up yonder. And I think I can do some brush clearing and I might be able to get my old CJ5 Jeep up in here. I told uh, Jacob, I said, we need to do some trimming. And uh, we could work on all that. Make us a road back up in here again. And then we'll just go up into them woods as far as I can go. So that may be one of our summer projects. And I will film all that. Show you guys some of that as I go along the way. And over there is Jacob's old lodge that I have to tear down because Jacob decided he is not going to build it. So um, I'm afraid the lumber is probably, all well, the plywood has gone bad. That's okay. We'll just burn it. Wood. All right, guys. Well, hey, that's the end of another video. I want to touch base with you here. Another week goes by. Another video comes out. Uh... Weather today, had a gorgeous day, did rain all day. About 62 degrees, I think today is uh, Tuesday. And uh, turned out to be quite a beautiful day. I'm trying to, in my head, plan my uh, bedroom, which I'm standing in right now. Even though it don't look like it, because nothing's happened yet. But I've got some lumber, I think I can build the, uh, the roof pieces. And I have enough lumber to build at least a wall and maybe this uh, south wall. North wall I won't worry about. I'd like to at least get two walls up and maybe the rafters up and then we would be ready to uh, you know proceed on depending on what I got for lumber. But like I said my uh, my roofing, the tin, the weather's been so crappy that um, I really haven't been able to get to it. I did get it unburied though and you saw that in my last video. I, I managed to get all that wood cut off the top of the tin so now at least I can access that metal and try and get that hammered out and straightened and then tarred up before I stick it up here. So that's going to happen when the weather breaks. I'm going to try and get hot on it. So maybe I'll spend a weekend up there finishing up my roof. And when I do, guess what? You're going along. You might be up there with me. And it's a good look. I might be trying to start a new trend here. I do that, folks. I just create trends every day. Blue sees it. I don't think anybody else does. And I think he understands it. Why is that? Why does the dog get it and nobody else does? Right, Blue? He's standing right down here at my feet. He's hanging with me because I'm talking. He's like, who are you talking to? Talking to the people. Talking to the people. Anyway, adios. See you on the next one, guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me. And remember, like, share, and please, subscribe. I'd like to see me get to... Uh, 10 kajillion uh, subscribers or at least a hundred hundred subscribers would be good we just want to keep growing otherwise i feel like i'm just uh out here working my hiney off for the dog that doesn't look good all right guys we'll see ya enjoy that beautiful view would ya not gorgeous